Hey guys, today I'm doing a review of the Yeti by Blue Microphones. Now before we get into the review, I do want to give a quick shout out and a quick thank you to TechmanAUS1 for making my brand new background on my channel. It looks very professional and he makes a lot of different graphics and for $6 you can get a complete partner background and it looks very nice. If you'd like to order one of his graphics, I'll put the link in the description below. Now let's talk about the Yeti. It does cost $159 excuse me, $149 retail, but you can usually find on Amazon for around $110, $115. I'll put the link in the description also to that. Now I do want to apologize for the sound quality as of now, because I do record with my Yeti, but I'm not uh, using it right now because I don't have it plugged in. So uh, I am just, just recording off the camera, which it is still a nice uh, microphone, but I do record with this one because it is even better. Now. For $150, $149 retail, it has to be a pretty good microphone to be worth the money. You are usually paying around $110, and I am quite impressed with it. On the front, you do have a, a beautiful look to it. It does have the nice grill right here. It does have a nice aluminum band going along right here. The whole thing is made out of aluminum, basically, except for these two knobs. These are made out of plastic. And you are getting the blue logo right here, the beautiful blue logo. Below it, you are getting the mute and unmute button. Uh, when it is plugged in and it is solid red, it is recording, it is ready to be recorded, there is power going to the Yeti. When you do click it one time, it will flash, basically meaning that the audio is uh, muted, so you cannot record when it is flashing. Down below, you will be getting your live monitoring volume up or down. You can just kind of take a look right there. You can just simply, uh, this is when when you are recording it and you do want to hear what you are recording you simply plug in a pair of headphones or earphones or whatever into the bottom right here for live monitoring and then you can simply adjust the volume that you do hear yourself or whatever you're recording uh, from low to high and that is definitely very nice now you are going to be getting a couple different knobs right here two different knobs these are made of plastic as I mentioned and this will basically lock it the, yet the Yeti into place so you can kind of kind of change the way it is it is recording so if you are doing an interview this is how you would want to do it. you want to do it straight up and if you are kind of doing it straight um, kind of like yourself you might want to kind of twist it like this but and if you'd like to kind of pack it away for some case maybe you're going on a travel if you're going on a trip you can put it in just like this and it does look and look and uh, work quite well now on the bottom right here you will be getting a few different inputs a few different outputs as well one different output and this is right here this is your 3.5 millimeter jack output for live monitoring you simply plug in your headphones earphones whatever you want to hear from and then you can monitor what you are saying and then right here you will be getting your thread mount you can simply buy a a spider mount or what other kind of mount um, and you can pull up and you can uh, twist in right there and you don't have to use these knobs you simply kind of disconnect it and you can do whatever you want with it and then finally the last input right here is your mini b usb to usb you are getting a cable which i was quite unimpressed with the cable it's actually a quite cheap cable in my opinion the um the metal piece where it does plug in bent when i did use it once actually i used it the first time i used it it bent and i was quite uh, unimpressed with that so uh, if you do want to actually get the Yeti, I recommend you do buy a separate Mini B USB. It might just be the one that I got, or it might be all of them, but mine was cheaply made. Now, let's take a look at the back right here. Let me flip it over. All right. Sorry for the glare. This is my lighting right there and there. So, all right. Let's put it right here. Okay, so here's your gain knob. You have little gain to high gain all the way up there. When I am recording, when I am doing product reviews, I like to have my gain just about that. I, I, uh, I, come, I came to the conclusion that that is really where it sounds the best. If it's at a low gain, it's a little, little worse, and I, I, t I tend to put it around right there, and it sounds quite nice. Now, you are getting four different settings, four different knobs right here, four different patterns, and it is because there is a tri-capsule array built in right here to allow you to have a different kind of setting. Uh, different settings and which I do like a lot about the microphone so let's go over the few different settings starting with the far left on the far left you are getting bi-directional sound which is going to allow you to capture sound from the front and the back and this is what's going to allow you to kind of interview people 
simply put it like this and people here and person there you'll be able to capture the sound nicely from those two directions right here you'll be getting omnidirectional sound and this is what's going to allow you to record from 360 degrees that's what omni means 360 degrees and it's going to allow you to record from all angles so if there are people all around or you're recording a band and you want everyone in the choir to be heard or just whatever you're recording but it's everyone there's sound coming from all directions you're gonna want it on this angle now going one more to the right you are getting cardioed and that's what I always stick on cardioed is for single-handedly the front side only it's only recording from the front side and when you are doing product reviews like what I use it for you're only gonna want it from one side unless you're doing something else but uh, one side is what I always keep it on and then finally you will be getting stereo one more to the right is stereo and that's going to allow it to go from the front, the right, the left, and a little bit from the back. So those are the four different patterns. I loved how it did. It had different patterns. It is made out of an aluminum uh, base as well. It does have aluminum right here, as along with the aluminum base and rubberized feet to keep it in place and not scratch up the table or whatever you put your microphone on. Now. Before I do end this review, I do want to give my final opinions and a test, so let me test it out right now. Alright, so I did plug in the Mini BUSB that I am quite unimpressed with into the Yeti, the other end into my computer, turned on my favorite audio recording software, which is Audacity. It's free and it works quite well. I am now recording off my Yeti, not my camera, which is what I was doing originally. I am on cardio mode, which means that the audio is coming directly from the front, no other direction. I did lock in the knobs right here, so the Yeti is not going anywhere anytime soon. The button is on red, which means that I am recording. I can record. It does have the power going to the Yeti. If I do plug, if I do press it, which I do will do right now, link, which means that the audio is muted. You can go back to it and continue it later. I am definitely very impressed with the Yeti. You're getting a lot of different settings. You're getting a, a lot of different features. It does weigh three and a half pounds, which is definitely quite bulky, but it's not as much as some microphones are. For $110, you're definitely getting your money's worth. I'm definitely impressed with it, and I do recommend it to all of you to get if you do want a very impressive microphone. You can use it for a lot of different things, not only uh, single person use, which you kind of have to do for a lot of different microphones. You can do it for omnidirectional sound, bi directional sound and cardio along with other features. Definitely impressed with it. I do want to thank Blue Microphone for sending me out the Yeti for review. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.